Hello everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm very happy to show you how to use the new Design Space Offset feature. This was a much anticipated feature, especially for those who make stickers. But a little warning, this feature is currently in beta, which means it is in testing. You may or may not have access to it, but if you do, it may be doing strange things depending on what you're using it for. So please feel free to report any trouble you have to Cricut so they can improve it. So this is not really a function that is very difficult to understand and I'll show you the basics, but I'll also show you how to make this original project step by step using only images found in Design Space and of course the offset feature. So first of all, I want to show you, I'm going to draw a little star to start with, and I'm going to show you what offset does. Offset, of course, offsets a shape or a text. So if you go here, it's right here, and you click on offset, by default, it will be 0.25 inches. And you always have a preview of what it's going to do. So this is pretty straightforward. And as I told you before, it says beta right here. And you can choose to have rounded corners or square corners. And as a star, you can see the difference. Little dot here, you can slide it to negative or positive and really see what happens. Now you see if I go very, very far in the negative, well, this is where there's some little bugs that happens. And don't hesitate to mention it to Cricut, as I said before. But if we go to something more regular, you, you'll have no problem doing this. So when once it satisfies you, you just click apply and you have your offset. One thing I want to show you, if you go here and on the offset feature, you'll see the 0.236 preview. But if you come here and you want to write 0.5, you won't see the preview until you click outside of this box. So I'm going to click outside and now I see the preview and now I am able to apply. So that's just a little tip I wanted to tell you. Also, so let me erase these two. I'm going to keep just the first one. Uh, if you write text, so let's say I write hello. Let's just keep it very simple. And I put it right here and I select all. And let's try to offset this. Well, what it's going to do, you're going to have a new function appear right here, a little checkbox that says weld offsets. So as you see it right now, it will weld the two together and you will result in only one offset. So it's a bit bigger. That's why it does this weird thing. So let me just scale it down a bit so you see something more appropriate. <laughs> and I think rounded is even better. So let's do it that way and click apply. So you see this is a, only one shape. It is a welded object. If you want to not have it together, let me just undo this. Let's select all again, go to offset and uncheck the box. So what's going to happen is that the H, E, L, L, O are, are all going to be individual offsets. So if I apply, you see you have all of these offsets. This is not a very good example of where you would like to do this, but let's say you have like uh, five stars or five stickers that you want the same offset you could select all and just go offset and do it in one time and uncheck the box for the welded option and you would have all individual offsets so it's a pretty great option now for our little bunny let's start so we're gonna go right away and select a pattern and for that I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna just type pattern Enter. So you have a lot of pattern in design space, especially if you're a Cricut Access member. If you are not, the one I've chosen is free. And you can go here to ownership and click free as I did. And this is the one I chose. So you see that you still have a lot, even if you're not a member. I'm choosing this one because it has kind of little flowers and I thought it was kind of a Easter theme. So let's insert images. And now you see it's pretty small. What I want to do, I want to either put it in a frame that's 8 by 10 or maybe on standalone. So I'm going to scale it to 8 wide and let's see the height. What is the height? It's 10.3. So I'm going to unlock the lock and bring back this 10 
this height to 10. So it doesn't really change the pattern, but I think it's going to be just perfect like that. The thing is that I'm going to be offsetting this twice by 0.1 so each time i offset it by 0.1 it's going to add 0.1 on the right and 0.1 on the left so i want to rem remember this because if i offset it twice it's going to end up to be 8.4 but my frame is 8 inches so that's not what i want i'm gonna then subtract 0.4 to 8 so instead of 8 inches i'm gonna be writing 7.6 so if you're like me and you're visual, maybe I just confused you right now. So I'm going to be writing this on my blog. But just remember, 7.6, if I offset it, it's going to end up to 7.8. And I offset it another time, it's going to end up to 8. So the largest of them all will be 8. And that's what I want. So the first one, I'm going to put it yellow. And you might be wondering why. And you'll see later, it's going to be easier for us talking about the layers by the colors. So the first yellow one is going to be the top layer. So I'm going to offset this one as 0.1 and I'm going to click beside to see the preview. So you see it. I want rounded corner and I'm going to apply. Now, since it's in beta, I strongly suggest that you close the eye of the layer just to check out that everything is offset perfectly. And if it does, that's totally fine. You just come and open back the layer. So we're gonna select the black one and we're gonna color it also to a pink. So the pink layer, we need to offset it again. Now you see the pink layer is at 7.8, so we're gonna offset it again and everything is fine. So let's apply and let's close the eyes to make sure what we have. And now you see all those little dots. Um, I'm not sure my Cricut will be happy cutting this and I'm not sure it's going to bring anything much to my design. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it. I'm going to use contour and with contour, I'm going to hide all contour and it's going to give me only the top layer and the top layer is our shape. So it's our rectangle. So that's perfect. And we're going to click here and we're going to keep the shape as a full shape like that. So this one, I'm going to be putting it in purple. Let's keep some uh, little Easter colors. <laughs> so this one, this is the last layer. Well, it's not the last layer. It's uh, the one before the last one. The last one, I will be adding some foil. Now, this is optional. You don't have to do it. But I wanted to use the foil and to show you what it does. I thought it was a great way to use the purple foil since it's Easter. So uh, the last layer, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to put it blue. And you'll see why later. I want a little sh light blue. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to select all and make sure that everything are aligned. Everything is aligned on center. And now since the blue layer is the last one, I'm going to put it to the bottom and reopen the two top ones. And that doesn't work because I aligned everything and the, the eyes were closed. Mistake from my part. So let's do this again. <laughs> let's select all and make sure everything is aligned center. Now that's better. So let's just uh, select the blue. I just want to show you that it is at 8 and it's 9.9. .9. Okay, it's not really 10, but we're close. So that's totally perfect for me. So as you saw in the picture at the beginning, what I want to do is to kind of dig a bunny inside of these multiple layers. So what I want to do, I'm going to go to images and I'm going to find something that I like. Now, this bunny is the one I'm going to choose because I want to make foil. All the little flowers will be foil. You don't have to do this. You don't have to choose this one. There are so many, so many things you can choose from. If I write Easter, you'll see that there are so many. <laughs> and... What I want to tell you is that the, the quote I chose at the beginning is in French, so I will be making it in French, but you can, there are so many Easter quotes also. So if um, you see at the beginning, it's in French, but you can use anything you want. You see, there are some very nice things you can choose from. And if you write and you search for Happy Easter, you're going to find a lot of things. There are so many cute things. Seriously, I wouldn't know what to choose. So what I did, uh, I selected free 
And if you're not a member of Cricut Access, you'll still have a lot of things to choose from. And this is a bunny you can also choose if you don't want to do the foil. And the one I chose is this one. And there are so many more. So I'm going to choose it again just to make sure that everything I'm showing you here is the same thing as you see uh, in the final project. But it's written, it's Easter. That's that's all. C'est pas. It's Easter. <laughs> that's all it's written. It's not very uh, complicated. So here they are. Um, what I want to do is write it right here. But now my bunny doesn't have the ears at the right place, I think. So I'm going to flip it horizontally so that the ears are like that. I think it's, it looks better. I'm sure you agree. So what I want to keep in mind is that I'm going to offset these things twice again so they're going to become bigger not that much bigger so but don't put them too uh, near the the frame you need to have them really in the middle and another thing you need to consider if you're doing foil is that my purple foil sheet is four by six so i need to be inside of this size so four is probably the maximum i'm going to go to i'm i'm even going to scale it a bit to make sure it goes inside of the four by six sheet and this one too let me check okay so this is what i'm gonna do so first thing uh to simplify something i'm gonna just weld this letters and the flower because i don't need the multiple layers so i just need one layer for this one and now you can see that the bunny has two layers i'm going to detach them first this one is going to become foil it's going to be foil on the bottom sheet. So the bottom sheet is the blue one, the one we don't see right now. And for me to remember that this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it blue also, even though it's on foil. I'll go to foil medium and I'm going to put it blue. Is there a blue here? Yeah, aqua. I'll pull it aqua. Just remember that it goes with this blue paper. But as I told you, I want to put some purple foil, but we'll change it later. That's okay. This bunny already has is offset because it came that way. So you see that the yellow is offset off of the blue. So I'm going to consider that this is the first offset that I have made, even though I didn't make it. And this offset will go on the purple layer. So in order to not mistake in anything, I'm going to put this bunny purple. Now, I want to offset this text because this text, this basic text is going to go on the blue. So let's put it blue and I'm going to offset it of 0.1 with rounded corners and apply. Let me just close the blue layer. Just make sure everything is fine. Yes, that looks good. So this one is the offset, the second offset. I'm going to put it with the purple bunny. So it's going to be purple. So let me just bring them together. Okay, so let's go back. This blue one are going to be foil, both of them. So let's let me just put foil to this one too. The color doesn't really matter, so I'm going to put it blue just to remember that the blue ones are on the blue uh, rectangle, the blue uh, cardstock. So these two we're going to offset them again. So to simplify, I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to weld them so that they are only on one layer so it's going to be easier when we offset so this is the purple one now we're going to do the offset for the pink one so let's go ahead and offset again everything is fine here i just need to apply now let's make sure it looks good yes it does so as i said this one is the pink one so we're going to put it pink right away and now we need to make the yellow one so let's select the pink and offset it again one last time I'll select it and put it oops sorry select it and put it yellow here we go so this is what it's going to look like but what we want to do we want to dig in the pattern to end up at the bottom with the blue one so that's why the biggest bunny is on top and the smallest bunny is at the bottom. 
Just think of a Roman arena when you see all the stairs and the seating that are going to the stage. It's really like that. We're going to do some little stairs that go all the way to the bottom to our foiled bunny. So I hope you understand. Now I'm going to do something that is completely optional. So I'm going to select both of these layers and I'm going to duplicate them. I'm not going to tell you why right away because I need to do something before. So I'm just going to close the eyes of these two and even close like them like that. So let's not forget I did this and I'm going to show you why right after. We're going to be cutting each bunny in a pattern. So let's start by the top one. The top one is the yellow one. So we're going to select both of them and we're going to slice. Now, of course, when you slice something, it goes all the way to the top. So here it is at the top. And we're going to keep only the layer that you see that is square like this. So this one, I'm going to click delete. I'm going to this one delete and this one delete. So here we are at what I want to show you. When you cut something like that, you see there are like all these jagged. It's not a very nice outline. This little piece is alone. This one is alone too. And it's like it's kind of jagged and it's not a nice outline. I'm going to do something with the two layers that I close right after. But for now, I just want to continue and cut everything all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to choose the pink layer, both pink layer, and I'm going to slice again. So it's going to come back on top and I'm going to delete everything except the rectangle again. Then I'm going to choose the purple one. I'm going to slice. It's going to come to the top. This time I have three layers and I'm going to keep the rectangle again. And now you see the bunny appear on the blue uh, pattern right underneath. So that is cool. And the reason I don't see these one, it's because the, the biggest layer is on top. So let me slide them so that they are in the right order. And now you see what happens. It's pretty cute, isn't it? So you could leave it like that. It's really up to you. I think it looks pretty nice also. Um, what I want to do is tell, show you an option that you can make. So I'm going to close everything here. I'm just going to reopen the two layers that I closed before. It's the little bunny, the two top layers bunny, the yellow and the pink. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to slice. They're going all the way out to the top and I'm going to keep only this, this outline. This outline is going to help me come here with this yellow layer. And if I go very closely, I'm going to be able to put the layer right like this and make a beautiful outline that is not jagged at all. So let me see. I need to put it down just a bit. So once you think everything is touching, you're going to select all and you're going to weld. And voila, here you have it. Let me zoom out. And now you have a really nice outline. So that's the difference. That's why I did that, but you absolutely don't have to do it. So let's reopen and see what it does. Kind of like it like that. It's kind of neat. <laughs> so the only thing left to do right now, we can put the foil at the color that we want to have a little kind of see what it does. I like it purple. <laughs> and of course, if we want the foil to be on the right paper, we'll need to attach everything. So let's select them all, the blue layers with the foil layers and attach. Now they go back on top. Let's put them back at the bottom just to see it. I like it that way. <laughs> so it's already time to make it. And we're going to be making everything that way. And I'm going to be leaving this layer, the foil layer, the last one, because I'm going to be using this purple one as a template to know exactly where my bunny and my words are going to appear on my blue paper. So I'm going to cut this one, this one, and then this one. So let's start by the first one. We're going to click continue. And when you have paper like that, that have really intricate design, very, very small little cuts, you need to choose uh, it 
cardstock for intricate cuts. So you'll want to select this one, cardstock for intricate cut. I strongly suggest that you make a test cut because you don't want to waste cardstock. So I'm, I'm going to link to a video on how to make a test cut. You can totally make this for cardstock too. I usually make a little A for uh, to make sure that my blade is still cutting perfectly. So before going further, I'm going to go and cut this. But before going further, I just want to mention something that I forgot. Of course, usually before you hit make it, please, please, please save your project. Because <laughs> it happens to me sometimes that I try to make the project and just design space doesn't want to go further. And then I lose everything. We don't want that. So we're going to cancel and you're going to go here and save your project. And what I want to show you is that you have new save to collections. This is a new feature also with the offset feature. And if you are a member of Cricut Access, you'll have unlimited collection. If you are uh, not a member of Cricut Access, you'll have up to five collection. This is still a lot of collections. So I'm going to write and call this bunny and I'm going to put it in Nelly Design. So you can really select all the collections. So just to show you that it happens sometimes that you have some little paper that lifts, but it shouldn't be fine. It's just in the corners or so we're going to be removing these pieces anyway. So to remove your cardstock, you'll want to gently um, bend your mat of course and if you see that pieces wants to stay you can use your spatula or your scraper to come and lift the pieces gently like that don't go tearing them off very fast it's cardstock it still will tear if it sticks to the mat so you can see that sometimes pieces will stay in uh, the cardstock don't worry about it we'll just uh, push them out like this and remove them and the little ones will be pushing them like this. It happens sometimes because you have some little pattern in the cardstock and the, the way the, the blade goes either uh, horizontally or vertically sometimes it doesn't really cut all the way through uh, because it's very intricate cuts but we're gonna be fine. Now something you want to remember is that these little pieces that are in the center so this one you might want to keep it because you're probably gonna need it to uh, put them one on top of each other. So you really want to push your cardstock from the nice side to the back side so that if it tears, well, like this one <laughs> just did, you won't be ruining the front of your cardstock. So these are the three layers that I have cut and the last layer will be used for me to uh, place where my bunny will be for a foil. So I'm gonna take the leftover that I had of the cut and I'm gonna replace everything on top of the other layer, the other cardstock. And what I'm gonna do is take the foil and I'm telling you to uh, when you get these little uh, foil sheet, just open it that way. Make sure you cut uh, the both sides and open it that way. It's really easier to get the foil and get the little stickers. And I'm going to be taking the purple one because it's Easter. And I have to figure out how to put it to cover most of the, the bunny and the words. And that's probably what I'm going to do. But to make sure I am at the right space at the right place on my cardstock I'm gonna use this layer as a guide so is everything in place I'm just gonna note that this is where it starts and this is where it's the furthest right the furthest left top and bottom just marking it like that way so for I think I'm gonna cover the bunny like that way and it's gonna take me another little piece of, sh of uh, foil for the rest like that. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. Don't make any mistakes. The foil you need to uh, 
uh, put it that way, don't put it that way. Uh, you need to have the color facing you. And this is kind of a transfer sheet. So when it's going to apply like this, it's going to go onto the paper. And this is the purple that you're going to see. So my markings are right here. I'm going to tape it to my cardstock and make sure there's no bubble in it and make it as flat as possible. For the foil tip, this is it, and I'm, I have the medium one, medium one will have two little lines right here, so this is what I'm going to use. So when the foil is finished, this is when you don't unload your mat really it's important and design space will prompt you to do exactly that not to unload the mat but to remove the foil so that's what we're going to do but i wanted to show you that uh, there's some tape that was uh, i miss i miscalculated where my bunny would be and uh, the foil um it foiled over the tape also right here so will it work will it not work i'm not sure so that will be a good lesson for us if it doesn't. So <laughs> let's do this. Super cool. It did work. Anyway, uh, the thing you see here are my little marks. So I'm going to erase them after. It did work um, even on the tape. Something you need to notice though, it's not as neat as, as, the, uh, as the rest of it. So everywhere where there was tape, uh, the line is not as clear and neat, but I think it's still beautiful, don't you? So what's left? We need to change the blade and make the cut. I have decided to just layer them one on top of each other without any spacers in between because I had these little pieces that were like floating and it was not really that great to have them in the middle like that. So I decided to just go ahead and glue it and you'll see it's going to be very nice. I think it makes a super nice Easter decoration. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you love 3D paper crafts, I invite you to join my challenge. I will link to it in the description of this video. Thanks for being there and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.